Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. For all things Vespa, check us out on the web, ScooterWest.com. So here I have a 2022 Grigio Delicato, ice blue as I like to call it, GTS 300 HPE. Well, the unique thing with the GT line starting in 2002, 2003 and on, they've all had liquid cooled motors. And just like a normal internal combustion engine, you would check the oil uh, fairly regularly, hopefully, you know, not in between services, but same goes with the coolant. You don't need to check it nearly as frequently. I would recommend checking it every three months or thousand miles of operation would be a very safe uh, amount of checking your coolant. And you may need to top it off from time to time. In the past, I've had videos covering how to flush the coolant system. Obviously, that's beyond the scope of this video. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to top off the coolant in your liquid-cooled Vespa or Piaggio scooter with the factory original Egypt pink coolant, or as any, Egypt is the original manufacturer of this Italian coolant. And we finally got our hands back on it now that we're at the end of 2021, so we have an ample supply of this. So let's get right to it. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so first of all, I want to start with a cool engine. When you check or top off your coolant level, actually you could check it um, with a slightly warm engine externally. So go ahead and open up the glove box. The only reason I'm doing that is to get the tool kit that's included with the GTS out. You're going to need a T25 Torx driver to remove the single screw from this right hand I like to call these knee pads. Um, not sure what the real term is for them, but that's what I've been calling them for years. So there's a little Torx driver right here. And just go ahead and remove that single screw. And it reveals the coolant reservoir tank and three different warning labels. So this scooter, we haven't topped off the coolant. I don't know if the camera's catching this, but the semi-transparent nylon container has a pair of lines that are visible externally. We'll go ahead and remove the caps and shine light down here so you'll see it a lot easier. The lower level is pretty much the seam of this container right here. And the upper level is this line that's I would say about a half inch or 12 millimeters above this seam. Um, the tank does go much lower. Uh, the idea being here is when it's cool, you want it between the lower level and the upper level. And typically if you're gonna to top it off, I would just bring it right up to the upper level and no more. Because if you go over the upper level on a hot day, the coolant may expand so much, you may end up with coolant leaking out of this cap. This is a pressure relief cap. Uh, sometimes you can do the cap by hand or you could put a wrench on it. I find the best tool in the workshop is to use the Tool SN. That's the Scooter West part number, Tool SN. It's actually for dismantling the steering column on a, a vintage Vespa all the way up to the modern ones. And it has teeth that line up with the cap. So you kind of put some pressure on there and it gets just enough leverage to pull the cap off. So now that we have the cap off, you can look down and you'll see the max and the min, but just like if you shine a light and you can see kind of the wave of the coolant, we need to bring that coolant level up. So looking down in the cap, you can see the max printed on that little ledge. So right now the coolant level is just a tiny bit below the minimum. And that's the way it came from the factory. The scooter hasn't been 100% prepped for sale yet. So the Scooter West part number for the factory original pre-mixed coolant for these GTSs is Moto Egypt, M-O-T-O dash A-G-I-P. It's just an old part number we've had for a long time. Uh, this pack, I really like this. I think I've displayed this in past videos when we had this several years ago and they switched from a bottle to this bag. I think this bag is great because uh, kind of Compresses down to nothing, it's pretty robust, and I think you could use it maybe in a pinch to put gas in your scooter if you're stranded somewhere. So maybe it's worth saving the bag. 
So you, the cap kind of fits perfectly in there and you just tip the bag. Probably not going to get much of it. You don't want to go over the max mark. Um, I'm just about there. You know, probably just a tiny bit more. Real easy to control with the bag versus a, a bottle. You can give it a squeeze. So right now it's just below the max mark and that's perfect. Kind of got a little bit of the pink color on that ledge as well. So go ahead and return to cap. And don't be alarmed if there is a small amount of coolant, you know, after a thousand miles it drops to the lower mark. Um, there's still the reservoir that has quite a bit more capacity in it and the hoses. The reason these scooters do consume a small amount of coolant is they have over a dozen different coolant joints. They're not the, the simplest cooling system. They have twin radiators, a lot of junctions, um, just to accommodate the Vespa body style. So they work great. The cooling capacity is great on these. You can ride these scooters in very high temperatures without the risk of overheating the motor, but it is certainly something you want to check occasionally. So make sure the coolant caps tight, just as tight as you can do it by hand is typically good. Um, and go ahead and return the cover. And maybe you're losing a lot of coolant. You may check your water pump weep hole. You may check your hoses for leaks. You may end up with a leak up underneath the hand, you know, the, um, the front leg shields where the radiators are located. Um, definitely don't want to let the motor overheat because at that point you've probably warped the head and have caused much more damage. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Uh, maybe you want the original coolant for your Vespa. We have that now available at scooterwest.com. Of course, this video is kind of for the new Vespa owner. If you're a seasoned modern Vespa owner, I hope you know about this and aren't just relying on your service center to top off the coolant between services if needed. Um, if you're looking to buy this, scooterwest.com. Look at our YouTube video for over 600 different how-to and product reviews of Vespa parts and accessories on our Scooter West Vespa Motor channel. And the channel's name is Vespa Motorsport. And consider subscribing if you're really into Vespas. I publish videos uh, usually a couple times a week. Thanks for watching, Robot here.